Thank you. Thank you for joining us this morning. I'm Thomas Ingenlaat, Polestar's CEO. Today, it's about providing a glimpse into the future. The future of our cars, the innovations that define them, and the future of Polestar as a company. Not the distant future, but the near future. We're talking here weeks and months. The Polestar brand is at one of the most important points in our history. We have made significant investments in building the foundation for profitable growth. And so that's what we are doing now, growing from having one car to three cars on the road in the coming month. Today is about giving you a unique insight into the work that we have been doing in collaboration with our partners. We want you to leave with a sense of inspiration and excitement for what lies ahead. Welcome to Polestar Day. <laughs> Yesterday, we published our third quarter results. It was a record quarter with over 13,900 cars delivered in the third quarter, a 51% growth and over 41 1,800 cars delivered during the first nine months of the year, a growth of 37%. We expect total deliveries of the year of around 60,000. We delivered an increased margin from the first half of the year and continue to expect higher margins as we move into the last month of 23. And this is with just one car, Polestar 2. There's a lot more to come very soon. But before we get to cars, a look back at this year. Our partnership with Google remains one of the longest and strongest. At the start of this year, we announced that Poster 3 will be the first car to integrate Google's new HD map technology, enhancing existing driver assistance systems, supporting autonomous driving in the future. We rolled out remote actions so that POSTA2 owners can remotely control functions like starting climate, preconditioning, checking battery status and unlocking doors simply by talking to the awesome Google Assistant. And we added many of the apps in the Google Play Store that our drivers wanted, like YouTube and Waze. POSTA2 received a major update with substantial performance increases, including an all-new electric drivetrain with more powerful batteries and, for the first time in a Polestar, rear-wheel drive. Polestar 2 can now travel up to 22% further, consume up to 9% less energy and charge up to 34% faster. I'm proud that we are able to do this without increasing the carbon footprint. In fact, we even managed to reduce it. Since the Polestar 2 deliveries began in 2020, we have continuously reduced its cradle-to-gate carbon footprint, saving a total of three tons of carbon in three years. We extended our collaboration with Lumina to expand the industrial design and integration of their 3D laser scanning technology beyond Polestar 3, into further vehicles, including Polestar 5. At the same time, we opened pre-ordering for Polestar 3 with Lumina LiDAR for those who want to add this highly advanced extra layer of driver assistance technology. And you'll find that LiDAR beautifully integrated into the roof of the Polestar 3 here on stage today. Polestar Design has a new home a spectacular studio in Gothenburg, Sweden, making a new design era for Polestar. The dedicated facility that is a repurposed iconic building provides, it, provides a home for our design team, led by my dear friend and colleague Maximilian Massoni, and it includes a specialist showroom, clay working stations, color lab, auditorium, and multiple digital studio spaces and VR rooms. We have signed an agreement with Tesla 
to adopt the new North American charging standard, which will give poster drivers in the United States and in Canada access to Tesla's expansive supercharging network. Recently, Posta 3 arrived in our Posta Spaces retail locations across the United States and in our, our markets around the world. And there's a lot of achievement in the last years, but there's more, and we move into the next phase of our development. Posta 3 starts production early next year, with first deliveries expected in the second quarter. And the preparations are ramping up. And we debuted our second SUV, Poster 4, an SUV coupé at the Shanghai Auto Show back in April. Production starts in China next week. And the first customer deliveries will begin before the end of this year. Launch of Poster 4 in all four markets is just around the corner in early 24. And first deliveries will commence in the summer of 24. These cars coming to market reinforce our position as a leading exclusive performance EV brand. This position comes even more into focus with Polestar 5. We have a unique opportunity here in a crowded market. While more and more players are targeting the mass market, and shifting volumes, we are taking a different path. Our customers have high expectations of the competence of our cars, their performance, the luxurious features, and the digital and physical sensory experience. We design, develop, and deliver cars that are at the forefront of exclusive luxury electric performance. Cars that combine the thrill of driving with the most progressive digital technologies and sustainable materials. We can focus on growth that delivers value. And that's where we're taking the next step forward. We have established a strong and broad foundation, both in terms of brand awareness and market presence. And now with the two luxury SUVs coming to market in the coming months, we are in a different position now. We have the advantage of experience. We have produced over 175,000 cars through contract manufacturing setup. And that means we're not trying to develop supply chain and manufacturing. And the Poster 4 is a great example of the benefit of this asset light model, being able to design, develop, and deliver a car that is everything you expect from a performance SUV coupe in a very quick and efficient manner. To make this car even more attractive and accessible to the US market in particular, we're very pleased to announce today that from mid 2025, Polestar 4 cars for North America and South Korea will be manufactured in Busan, South Korea, via a contract manufacturing agreement that we have reached with RKM a joint venture between Renault, Geely, and Samsung. With Poster 4 production in South Korea and Poster 3 in the US, we diversify our manufacturing footprint significantly. As you know, Poster 3 will be produced in Volvo's Richville plant in South Carolina from the middle of 24 for North America and Europe, which means an American-made Polestar on the roads of America by next summer. Our team there is currently working on pre-production tooling and uh, processes. So we are taking fast steps in becoming a global, diversified business and mitigating risk. Now yesterday, along with our third quarter results, we published an update on how we are reshaping our business plan. And this is how we develop Polestar over the coming years. We will continue our strategic direction of positioning Polestar as an exclusive, design-focused performance EV brand. We will focus on the quality of growth and we will be cash flow break-even in 2025. 
In 2025, we expect our four models to generate a gross margin in the high teens. And on this basis, with additional shareholder support announced yesterday and the funding solutions we are working on, we expect to have sufficient funding to support us until we reach cash flow break-even in 2025. Now, these are very significant steps for us as a business, showing both the strong support that we have from our two major shareholders, as well as the relatively small funding gap. One thing that we haven't talked about here is China. The largest and, along with the US, one of the most important EV markets in the world. One which will be key for us on our journey towards profitability in 25. There is a huge opportunity for us in China, because the modern, minimalistic, Scandinavian aesthetic of our cars, they resonate strongly with Chinese consumers, as it does around the world. But they require a much more localized digital experience in a car and one that seamlessly integrates with their mobile phones. So, we decided to do things differently. In June, we announced a strategic joint venture with one of China's leading mobile phone and software companies, the Dream Smart Group. And this was an opportunity to bring together what we believe are Polestar strengths in premium luxury design and customer experience, and Dream Smart Group strengths in mobile technologies and software engineering. And to tell you more about this, we have a message from Polestar China CEO, Zizhu Shen. Thank you, Thomas. Hello, everyone in Los Angeles. Let me just and put into perspective the significance of the opportunity that China presents. China is the world's largest EV market, with 5.9 million cars sold in 2022, representing 59% of the total amount of EVs sold globally. But the competitive landscape is also very different to the rest of the world. We have the traditional Western brands, the Chinese brands you have heard of and can buy overseas, as well as a number of companies you probably have not heard of. The technology landscape is also different, with Chinese players already taking the lead in terms of the development and adoption of advanced assistant driving systems. This is very much driven by demand. As consumers in China demand the latest technology in terms of intelligent copy and driver interaction. That's what our vision for the joint venture between Posta and the DreamSpark Group is all about capturing a larger share of the Chinese market by capitalizing on the best of what we have together. The incredible strong brand of Posta and the technical know-how and software engineering capability of DreamSpark Group to create software-defined vehicles. You all know about Posta, but what about DreamSpark Group? We are a leading mobile device company within the wide GD family. Meizu Brand, our mobile phone device brand, was founded in 2003, and we have over 20 years R&D experience and 10 years experience in developing operating system software. Over 100 million users are using our software on mobile phone device. All the products we develop are focused on combining simple, easy-to-use hardware and software to create the best user experience. We are also closely linked to eCarX, the in-car technology brand in the GD family, whose operating systems for cars, including Flyme Auto, are already integrated into more than 5.2 million cars worldwide. Polestar 4, which starts production next week, will have a dedicated Polestar operating system in China called Polestar OS. This is an operating system that is recognizable as Polestar, but that also meets very specific requirements and expectations of Chinese customers. The strong Flyme Auto base means we are implementing proven technology that comes with many strong advantages. One of these is Polestar Link, which manages 
the integration between mobile phone and car, creating a direct link between the two. This will allow owners to share software, network connections, location services, and camera hardware, as well as transfer their phone application to the infotainment screen. In Postal 4, this will be truly personalified through the launcher of the Postal phone. It has been designed as a collaboration between DreamSmart Group and the Postal design team in Gothenburg, the same team that designed all the incredible cars you see here today. As with Postal 4, the Postal phone will run Postal OS, meeting both worlds in a single seamless experience. But it's not just about technology. We are also expanding our retail and service networks. In the middle of 2023, we had 19 postal spaces in China. By the start of 2024, we aim to have 55, including pop-up spaces at selected attract size with a larger football. This joint venture creates the foundation for success in China. It combines the beauty of Scandinavia design and Polestar's performance car expertise with the mobile phone expertise of DreamSmart. In combination, we are meeting very high demands of customers in this demand market. I'm incredibly pleased to stand here today and express my strong belief in the future development of Polestar in China. Thank you, everyone. Back to you. Good morning. My name is Maximilian Missoni, Head of Design for Polestar. In 2020, we presented Polestar Precept, our vision for the future, a clear statement of our ambitions in technology and design, a concept car that would define the framework for our future Polestar cars, a portfolio of luxury sports cars that celebrate the superior dynamics of electric drivetrain and define a new approach to luxury rooted in excellent design, digital technologies, and sustainable materials. But Precept was never just a concept. It will go into production as Polestar 5, and its design DNA has already found its way into our next cars. Take the Smart Zone, for example. Here, cutting-edge technology used for driver assistance systems is clustered together in the front, signifying the shift from breathing to seeing. Rather than hiding away this technology, we celebrate it, we show it off. You can already see the smart zone in Polestar 3 and even on the road today in the recently updated Polestar 2. To complement our upcoming high volume SUVs on group platforms and to deliver the best and most uncompromised architecture dedicated to performance, we decided to do it ourselves. The backbone of Precept is a bespoke, bonded aluminium platform. It is our first in-house developed architecture, lightweight, rigid, and highly recyclable. It is engineered to solidify our brand's position amongst the top automotive performance players. We designed it to be adaptable with minimal modifications to provide a scalable base for future models. It's been developed and executed um, by our engineers in the UK, where we're able to tap into the rich Formula One and sports car engineering heritage within the British automotive industry. The electric powertrain has also been developed in-house by our Swedish engineering team, who've created one of the most powerful motors out there. The rear motor alone will produce 450 kilowatts or 612 horsepower. Together with a high output front motor, Polestar 5 will have up to 650 kilowatts or 884 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque for incredible performance. It will be powered by an 800 volt battery pack that is built in an aluminium case and seamlessly integrated into the bonded unibody. 
This results in class-leading rigidity and low weight to deliver on our ambitions to engineer one of the most advanced platforms out there. This week, we have announced that South Korean battery tech company SKON will supply the cells for this battery. Precept also demonstrates how new design opportunities arise through sustainability and how they can create a beautiful contrast with the modern and technical design of a performance car. We replaced traditional materials associated with luxury, like chrome and wood, with a new class of sustainable premium materials, including natural fiber composites, 3D knitted textiles, and bio-attributed vinyl. One of our favorites of these is natural fiber composite, which we're developing with the Swiss company Bcomp. Made from flax, it reduces weight, vibrations, and the use of plastics, while improving the strength of various components. In Precept, we then backlit the material to showcase its unique attributes. This exciting innovation comes to Polestar first in Polestar 3. Another example is our tailored knit, which is made from 100% recycled plastic yarn. Usually you see this type of material in sports footwear, but together with the Textile University in Borås in Sweden, we have developed it into a new high-tech textile that made its way in production with Polestar 4. As you know, Precept was confirmed to become Polestar 5, and production will begin in 2025 in a new facility built specifically for the bonded aluminium platform. Already today, this factory is producing prototype cars that our engineers, both in the UK and Sweden, are using for testing and fine-tune the driving dynamics and the character. You may have seen some of the prototypes appearing at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, as well as in our YouTube documentary series, From Concept to Car. We are rapidly bringing this concept car to life, and you can see some of the development prototypes just here behind me. I am proud that we stayed so true to the concept's design all the way to production. By the way, did you notice that the beautiful car on the catwalk to my left isn't actually Precept? The adaptability of this platform means we can create other cars based on this architecture in the same factory. Polestar 6, the production version of the stunning electric roadster concept you see here today, will share the bonded aluminium technology with Polestar 5. It will be built alongside Polestar 5 in the new factory and is planned for launch in 2026. However, the design vision we had with Precept comes to life even sooner in our upcoming two models. Polestar 3 and 4 are two entirely unique SUVs with very different characters. Polestar 3 is our luxury SUV with a high stance and ground clearance, but an aerodynamic silhouette and powerful proportions. One of the elements that was inspired by Precept is the front aero wing. It accelerates the air around the hood and in conjunction with the rear wing, optimizes airflow over the body to help maximize range. With the application of the smart zone in Polestar 3, we bring technology to the fore. We're clustering components for assistant driving, like cameras, radars and acceleration sensors, even showcasing the intricate heating wires that protect the radar against snowpacking. As a next step, the LiDAR scanner from Lumina will give our customers access to even more advanced driver assistance functionality and help prepare Polestar 3 for autonomous driving in the future. We will also see our partnership with Bcomp come to fruition in Polestar 3. We understood the huge potential of this material, and finally, after years of development together with our suppliers and Bcomp, we found the key to applying it in high-volume production. Our own signature weave brings a luxurious and technical finish to this natural fiber composite, which means it can be now used as a functional and visual material. And as you saw in Precept, we will proudly show this off in our cars. Taking the step into volume production means we have now unlocked the potential for more natural fiber composites in our cars. It leads to less than half of the fossil-based content compared to traditional premium solutions used in automotive interiors. 
and it reduces the CO2 emissions of these components by over 50%. We also wanted to give you mind-blowing three-dimensional audio beyond anything you've heard before. Together with Bowers and Wilkins, we have installed a sound system with 25 speakers and a digital sound processor that handles Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos delivers a spatial sound experience which is so powerful and seamless that it literally feels like the music is generated in your head. Polestar 3 is one of the first cars on the market with this system. Today, Polestar 3 is in the last phases of development and it's embarking on various test expeditions around the world, including recent hot climate testing in Dubai and robustness testing right here in California. In contrast with Polestar 3, with its pure SUV DNA, Polestar 4 is our SUV coupe, with a low-body, extended roofline and sporty stance. Following the example of Precept, its low aerodynamic silhouette did not come at the cost of a cramped interior. We broke with convention and opened up the space in the second row by moving the roof structure rearward, eliminating the rear window and replacing it with a rearward-facing camera on the roof and a screen instead of a traditional rearview mirror. Now, the rear occupants can relax in a lounge environment that feels more like business class. And instead of the limited rear view and other compromised SUV coupes, where you mostly see the interior of your own car, you now have the wide-angle visibility that has never been so good. Make sure you get a feel for this today in the Polestar 4 zone just behind me. This is a Polestar, so of course it's a driver's EV with the sports car dynamics you expect from us. With dual motors and 400 kilowatts or 544 horsepower, Polestar 4 can reach 100 kilometers an hour in just 3.8 seconds. And this is just our starting point. We're here to make exciting cars, cars you want to drive, cars you want to have fun in. But we also know that not every drive is a twisty mountain road or a sweeping racetrack. Sometimes you'll find yourself in a traffic jam on the highway or what can feel like an endless cross-country journey. That's why Polestar 4 comes with a collection of driver assistance functions that are enabled by the supervision system from Mobileye, one of the leaders in autonomous driving technology, who are actually here with us today. Polestar 4 will be produced in Hangzhou Bay, a state-of-the-art group factory. The facility runs on 100% renewable energy, and we're using even more low-carbon and recycled aluminium, recycled steel, and recycled plastics content. Add to that the sustainable interior material, like the 100% recycled tailored knit, and Polestar 4 has the lowest carbon footprint in the entire Polestar range. We have now published its life cycle assessment, and we are proud to say that the carbon footprint ranges from just 19.4 tons of CO2 for the standard range single motor, up to only 21.4 tons for the long range dual motor. And as with Polestar 2, our team will continuously work to further reduce the footprint throughout the car's life cycle. We're constantly pushing the boundaries of design at Polestar, so much so that we have inspired more than 50,000 designers and enthusiasts worldwide through our Polestar Design Community Instagram page, where they are sharing and discussing the vision based on our design language. We recently concluded our third global Polestar design contest, which has led to a collaboration between the winners and the Polestar design team. The result is a stunning single-seat electric supercar that showcases the essence of Polestar's DNA. And we brought it with us today, Polestar Synergy.
We are just at the beginning of our journey. To achieve our ambitious goals, we teamed up with several of the most interesting and innovative companies in the industry. Some of them are joining us here today. To lead us in the next part of this event, I would like to hand over to Tanya Ridd, our Global Head of Communications and PR. Thank you, Max. Innovation is one of Polestar's core brand pillars alongside sustainability and design. It touches every part of our company, from our direct-to-consumer business model to our brand expression. When we begin to assess new innovations and technologies and consider how we might incorporate them into our cars, we start with the driver. We ask ourselves, how can this improve the driving experience? Are there benefits from a range and performance perspective? Does it improve handling? Does it unlock new design opportunities? Does it help accelerate the shift to electric mobility and a climate-neutral future? One such technology is vehicle-to-grid, or V2G, which allows energy to be fed back into the grid from batteries and EVs, like Polestar 3, equipped with bi-directional charging. The average car remains unused for 90% of the time. But what if it could be as useful when it's parked as when it's being driven? We are at the start of an electric revolution, and electricity grids often struggle to maintain capacity during the peaks of demand. Through V2G, an EV can function as a storage unit for energy from the grid or home energy solar system. Customers can charge their cars overnight and during the day, when they're not in use, when demand is lower, energy is cheaper, and renewables more abundant. Energy can then be discharged back into the home to save money at peak times or sold back to the grid to help balance demand and support a more sustainable energy system. The more EVs that connect to the grid with V2G technology, the greater the impact, creating value for communities and individual EV owners alike. This is why we're developing our virtual power plant. Using the latest smart charging and V2G technology, it can calculate the available battery capacity of an entire fleet of Polestar 3s and match this to the grid's needs, initiating charging and discharging as required. The customer does not need to do anything. They simply plug in their charger, fill in their weekly schedule of when they need to drive their car, and smart charging technology will handle the rest. But as with any new technology, creating the business models and scaling it to the benefit of all parties involved is key. For this reason, we've started a pilot project in our hometown of Gothenburg in Sweden, funded by the Swedish innovation agency Venova, together with our local electricity company Gothenburg Energy, academia and stakeholders along the energy system. To tell you more about it, I'd like to introduce Eric Zinn, Head of Sustainability at Gothenburg Energy. My name is Eric Zinn, and I'm Head of Sustainability at Göteborg Energi. The city behind me here, Gothenburg, is Sweden's fastest growing city. It's also one of Europe's hotspots for automotive innovation and sustainable development. So it's no surprise that there's a big focus on electrifying both mobility and industry. We are spearheading the electric transition, so our demand for sustainable electricity is steadily increasing. By 2045, we expect to double our need for power from today. So we need to make sure that our electricity grids can handle this increase and always deliver power to our customers. This is a huge challenge that we need to solve quickly, and expanding our existing power grids costs a lot of money and takes a lot of time. By connecting a large fleet of electric cars to the electricity grid, we think that we can make a big difference for our energy systems, both on a local, regional, and national level. EVs already have big batteries, and they already exist as a means of more sustainable transportation. According to our estimations, V2G connected cars can contribute with up to 20% of the flexibility services needed here in Gothenburg. And that's what we're doing here. Together with Polestar and our other partners in our joint V2G pilot project, we're taking this solution to the next level. We're developing business models that will benefit everyone. This will be the largest pilot project of its nature in Europe. 
During the course of the next year, we will begin active testing, with up to 200 V2G capable Polestar 3 cars assisting the grid from the comfort of their owners' driveways. This is true testament to the collaborative spirit here in Gothenburg and at Polestar. By working together, we can get there faster, aiming at providing solutions that are scalable. Now we know that this is the challenge that we share with many other growing cities around the world, just like Los Angeles. So in our joint project, we're going to develop solutions and models for V2G that can be deployed even elsewhere, letting Gothenburg set a positive example for the world. And with that, back to you, Tanya, and thanks. Thank you, Eric. We believe that vehicle-to-grid technology has huge transformative potential. You can find out more about this in the Polestar 3 zone afterwards at the interactive V2G installation. Those of you that live in California know firsthand what it means to have an electricity grid that is struggling to cope with demand. And today, we're announcing that we will be collaborating with California Energy Commission and the independent nonprofit Energy R&D Institute, EPRI, on a pre-study, also funded by Venova, to create a roadmap for the implementation of vehicle-to-grid services in California. The pre-study will start next month and run until October 2024. As a new legacy-free brand, we can challenge perceived notions and focus uniquely on harnessing the superiority of the electric drivetrain. For us, this is counterbalanced by the strength and depth of our relationships within the group, in particular with Volvo Cars, where we work side by side and benefit significantly from their scale and expertise, particularly in areas such as safety. For them, we can sometimes act as an incubator for new technologies, testing and trialing ideas that might initially be too small in scale for a large OEM to integrate into their programs. This collaborative, pioneering spirit is a core part of Polestar's DNA and extends to startups and well-established players alike. We know that working closely together leads to more meaningful, scalable and impactful innovations. Many of the innovations you'll hear about here today have been born out of these close collaborations. Our work with BComp is just one of them. To tell us more, I would like to invite Thomas back on stage. Thanks, Tanya. And I'm very proud um, of our work that we do together with BCOMP. That relationship, our relationship, goes back to the very first day of Polestar. And since we started our collaboration, we have had very open and a very good relationship. There has been an intense process, but what is incredible is the way in which we have been able to help each other to achieve things that we could not have done on our own. And indeed, it is this approach that has enabled us to evolve this material firstly into a poster weave that can be integrated without needing to be covered with plastic. That opens up the door for a meaningful reduction in our carbon footprint throughout the car. So, it gives me enormous pleasure now to have Pear with us here today to tell you more about this project. So, thank you, Thomas. As Thomas mentioned, this partnership dates back to the early days of Polestar. However, our story goes back further than that. We met while working at Volvo Cars together with, on the carbon fiber body structure of Polestar 1. This was when we first started working together on innovative design applications for premium lightweight material. Innovative materials for the ski industry in pursuit of the ultimate performance. It was there when using natural fibers, they discovered the untapped potential of flax fibers as a sustainable and high-performing alternative to conventional engineering materials. The sports sector was a perfect entry point, but when Beacon wanted to maximize its positive impacts of its sustainable lightweight solution, it was clear that the automotive industry was the most interesting market. However, entering such a complex market with the visionary technology is not as easy, so we first turned to motorsport as a perfect stepping stone. Rapid development cycles allow the major teams to implement our natural fiber solutions when they understood the performance and sustainability benefits that we could provide. 
exposing our solutions to the most demanding environments as GT Racing Formula One has proven their true performance and durability. Since then, of this beginning of race to road journey, as we call it at BComp, the BComp solution has been more and more extensively used in motorsport bodyworks, interiors, and so on, with now the impending integration into premium road cars as the next step. And this is where Polestar comes in. Since then, we have worked together, close together, to industrialize the BCOM solution, a process that has taken a number of years. Along the journey, we have encountered and overcome many challenges, from meeting high-quality demand of the automotive industry to satisfying aggressive safety requirements, all while staying committed to delivering a true sustainability improvement compared to the present solutions in the industry. With each step, we have pushed each other to go further. We have achieved things that we did not think was possible at first. To take the Polestar signature weave as an example that will be introduced in Polestar 3. For Polestar design, it was important to achieve an elegant and premium modern aesthetic for the flax fiber, inspired by how it was presented when backlit in the Polestar precept that you have in the back. To be able to recreate this, impression of thin, fine lines of light shining through between the flax fibers required that we work tightly together in weaving workshop, testing many, many different structures, patterns, before bringing this to factory, testing processes, tooling conditions, as well as different surface finishes and graining. It was a long and challenging process, but the end result is a beautiful, unique expression in more than sustainable luxury. So this partnership is very important for BComp. We are two companies aligned in, on values, with performance and sustainability at our hearts. So like Polestar, we truly believe our work can help to accelerate this shift towards more sustainable mobility. And so we continue to develop our solutions, for pre, uh, our innovative and lightweight solutions for further application in Polestar's portfolio. And I can't wait to come back to tell you more about this the next time around. Thank you. Thank you, Per. It's so exciting to see this taking shape. Please visit the Polestar 3 zone after the presentation to take a closer look at B-Comp materials, both in precept as well as in detail throughout various phases of development. Now we turn our attention to Polestar 4. Polestar 4 will come with world-class advanced driver assistance systems enabled by mobilized supervision at launch. And we recently announced that we aim for Polestar 4 to be the first production car to feature mobilized chauffeur autonomous driving technology in the future. Today, we add a new element to this collaboration with Luminar LiDAR, which is necessary for true autonomous capability. As Max explained earlier, while we want to make cars that celebrate the joy of driving, we also know that there are times when you need and you want support. And for that reason, we believe that advanced safety systems and autonomous driving technologies are also integral to our cars. And we have been focused on pushing innovation forward in this area with our partners. We have been working closely with both Austin at Lumina and Amnon at Mobileye and their teams. And it gives me a great pleasure to invite Austin to the stage today and to have Amnon joining us by video link. Austin. All right, well, excited to be here uh, on this. Thanks for uh, everyone. Uh, yeah, incredible live, uh, <laughs> yeah, live LiDAR display I see you guys put up here, so that's uh, two thumbs up. But uh, I just have to say, what incredible progress, you know, Polestar and you guys here too, even coming from you know, what was it, Shanghai back in April, you know, and we saw you guys even all the way today. Uh, just so awesome to see, and, and congrats with, uh, with the four. So this is something, then we have some great updates to be able to, to share today. But, you know, giving a little bit of context, you know, I think we're, we're all aware of the opportunities for what we have ahead when it comes to advanced driver assist systems, as well as, uh, you know, some of the world that I think was promised around fully autonomous driving systems that's... Um, you know, that's had its fair share of challenges. And I think 
when you take a look at the opportunity for what we have and what we've really focused around, it's about how we can improve the safety and the autonomous driving capabilities of production vehicles. And this future is the one that we see as being realized successfully. This has always been the Luminar strategy from the beginning, and this is also the Polestar strategy. So we're incredibly excited to have an opportunity to do that together. So we've already been working together for, for some time, for years now, and you can start to see some of the fruits of the labor on that of, with the Polestar 3 uh, already with the Luminar integration on the vehicle and to be able to offer and enable next generation, you know, safety capabilities, autonomous driving capabilities for highways uh, as the focus. And this is something that you can really start to realize in the near term rather than just that, you know, fully driver out of the loop, uh, you know, no driver at all type approach of what many of the robo-taxi companies uh, have been focused around. So uh, very excited to see the results of all of this come together. Um, and, you know, for the context on Luminar and the kinds of point clouds and LiDAR that you're seeing, what it really enables is to see very clearly any kind of object all the, going out all the way to 250 meters into the distance, you know, and even up to a theoretical max range out to 600 meters. And the important part is, is that that allows the car with centimeter level precision of everything going on around it to understand exactly where everything is. And just to give that context, that 250 meters at highway speeds, that's uh, looking at about seven and a half seconds ahead of the vehicle. So that's enough time to be able to come to a safe stop should there be you know, an object out on the road, you know, should there be uh, you know, a kid that runs out in front of a parked car, should there be whatever it you may have ahead. And this is so important to be able to enable safe autonomous driving capabilities for the future. And you know, one of the leading technologies that Polestar is working with uh, to be able to help make these vehicles some of the best vehicles on the planet. So very excited to see that. But of course, um, with this, it's more than just Luminar and it takes more than just Luminar with um, you know, the systems and software and everything integrated together uh, to be able to make this collectively happen. And this is where you know, you're excited to have an opportunity um, as it relates to Mobileye. You know, Mobileye is an incredible company. Uh, you know, they are really the leader when it comes to assisted driving systems to help pioneer it. So with that, we'd love to be able to welcome Amnon Shashua, uh, co-founder and CEO of Mobileye, to be able to share the news today. Thank you, Austin, and hello, everyone. And sorry that I cannot be with you in person today. Since our inception, we have been developing increasingly capable driving assistant technology using machine learning, custom silicon chips with tightly integrated software and the power of crowdsourced uh, mapping. Over the past several months, we have been working closely with Polestar to leverage these advanced driving assist technologies in Polestar 4. Today, over 150 million consumer vehicles are on the world's road with mobilized technology inside. Using our experience in artificial intelligence, we can deliver the Mobilize Supervision Platform, a camera-based system for hands-off, eyes-on, highly assistant driving. Just last week, we filmed this footage of our system, putting the Polestar 4 to the test on real roads and real traffic, demonstrating a preview of the wide-ranging abilities that our system can provide in complicated driving scenarios. Polestar 4 offers Mobilize Supervision at launch, and as the world's regulations increasingly enable more and more assistant driving, Polestar will be able to unlock various levels of this functionality over time. But supervision isn't the final destination. It's the start of an evolution towards fully autonomous uh, driving. In August, we announced that Polestar and Mobileye are working together to bring our next generation of driving assistants to market in Polestar 4 called Mobileye Chauffeur. Chauffeur is the future of autonomous driving for consumers and will be able to offer eyes-off point-to-point navigation on highways, as well as eyes-on automated driving in other environments. Today, we are pleased to follow that announcement with the news that Mobileye and Luminar are collaborating with Polestar with the intent to bring Luminar LADAR to Polestar 4 as part of the integration of the Mobileye Chauffeur system. Back to you, Austin. Well, thank you, Amnon. Um, that's you know, it's incredible, and I think uh, as Amnon was saying, in addition to you know the work that we've had for years with Polestar, uh, you know we've had work as a partners for you know years with Mobileye now, and so awesome to have the opportunity to see the fruits of that labor really integrated, you know, into the next generation for for Polestar, and uh, have that being such a, a great leading technology platform. So 
uh, two thumbs up to you guys, and uh, we'll hand it back off. So thank you very much. Thanks, Austin, and thank you, Amnon. We invite you to see the uh, Mobileye Supervision demo in the Polestar 4 zone later. You'll be able to get a closer look at the car's rear-view mirror experience and the outstanding field of view that this offers, which Max described earlier. And so this brings us to Polestar 5. We are delighted to bring you an update on our investment in Stordot, the extreme fast-charging pioneer. When we first got involved with Doron and the Stordot team in 22, I was blown away by the potential of their extreme fast charging technology. It's clear that charging and range anxiety are the most significant concerns that hold people back from switching to an NV. So if we remove these obstacles, then we can really accelerate the shift towards electromobility. Stardot was our first financial investment in another company, and we have been collaborating with them to adapt and apply their technology to proof-of-concept poster cars. I'm happy to invite now Dr. Doran Meyersdorf, CEO of Stardot, to the stage and to share a little more information about our partnership. Thank you, Thomas. What an important event to be a part of. At Stordot, we are very familiar with the uh, fast-paced and challenging times that are involved in bringing a startup to life while changing the game in the process. Just over a decade ago, we formed Stordot and quickly found out the strengths in developing new battery technology for mobile devices and then for personal uh, electric mobility vehicles. In 2017, we proved that we can fully charge a smartphone in five minutes. And then in 2019, we showed that same technology, we could uh, charge an electric scooter in five minutes. Today, we are a global expert and leader in extreme fast charging battery technology for electric vehicle. We call it XFC. Battery technologies currently powering EVs cannot support fast charging at these high speeds, which, which is why Stordot has paved the way for introducing a new breed, silicon batteries, that can be charged extremely fast. Polestar has been playing a key role in our journey after investing in our company back in 2022, and it gives me great pleasure to see how our close relationship is bringing our technology to life. XFC is developing well, and we consistently see fantastic results with our 100 in 5 technology, where we consecutively charge an EV for 100 miles for each five minutes of charging without impacting the health of the battery at all. I think you recognize our pattern by now. XFC technology is a true breakthrough in this ever more demanding world of electric vehicles. Charging anxiety will soon be a thing of the past. This game-changing technology enables charging times that are comparable with filling up with fuel, the, the car with fuel, charging an electric vehicle in minutes, same experience. Thousands of hours of testing have shown no degradation of the battery, and this is a complete safe battery cell to charge in minutes. But the breakthrough is not just how quickly we can charge a battery. It is about what it means for you, for the customers, who want to spend less time charging and more time driving, especially with it, when it comes with the high-performance EVs that we see here today. The true advantage with our technology is the way it can be integrated into cell manufacturing facilities of today and the EV battery packs of today, not tomorrow, not when the next battery chemistry breakthrough finally materializes, 
today. Much like Polestar is showing with the stunning concept cars, we are also working with this production intent. Last year, our batteries reached over 1,000 charge-discharge cycles with a production-ready form factor. We have proven time after time that our XFC technology works and the entire auto industry is taking notice. Next year, Together with Polestar, we plan to de demonstrate our XFC technology in a car for the very first time. These are big news. And this car will be Polestar 5. Looks like 5 is really our lucky number. Thomas and the entire Polestar family, thanks for being on this journey with us. <clears throat> Thank you, Darren. It's remarkable to see the advances of uh, charging technology. Following this keynote, Darren will be in the Polestar 5 zone um, to demonstrate the 10-minute charge of the 100 in 5 battery with a real EV pouch cell at various times during the afternoon. In this zone, you'll also see one of our battery modules, and it's no coincidence that a Polestar 5 prototype is part of this area. We look forward to demonstrating XFC together next year. One other zone I'd like to draw your attention to is the Material Innovation Zone, where we are showcasing some of our partners that are working with our Advanced Engineering and Polestar Zero project teams. The Polestar Zero project supports our moonshot goal to produce a truly climate-neutral car by 2030. Of course, we can't be sure we'll pull it off, but what matters here is starting getting to work. There are three phases to the project, research, applied science, and product development. Right now, we're focusing on the hardest parts, finding new solutions that don't yet exist, identifying sources of CO2e and ways of eliminating them. In the material innovation zone, you'll be able to engage with some of the companies we are working with on this journey. Hydro, SSAB, paper shell, and Dharma bioplastics. There will be a selection of panel discussions, guided tours, and video presentations taking place through the afternoon, where you can explore this topic in more depth. And with that, I would like to hand back to Thomas. Thank you, Tanya, and everyone who has joined us on stage today. Building a new brand, a new company, is not easy. It's hard, it's difficult. And there's no gain without pain, right? It does not just go according to plan every time. Some of you have been following us now for years, and you have seen the struggles. We weathered the storms of supply chain shortages and a global pandemic. We took all these hurdles, one by one, reacting quickly to a changing environment, and we made this company resilient. With an international manufacturing footprint and a well-balanced international market mix. We took care that our earnings will deliver the high margins of the exclusive segment that we are serving, even though in tough conditions as we are facing right now. We stayed on track, developing the beautiful car lineup that you see here today on stage, ready to go out soon, in 24, 25, 26, one after the other. Making a dream. Reality is indeed not easy. But it is possible. Thanks to the entire Polster team, who continue to make amazing things happen each and every single day. We are now an established new brand with a solid business plan and a path towards break-even in 2025. To give you a real taste of that future, you will have noticed the fleet of Polster 3 and 4 
test vehicles outside the venue when you arrive today. These are all prototypes from our development fleet, and we really invite you to take a ride with some of our engineers and experts around the beautiful surroundings that we have here in LA to get you a glimpse into why we are so passionate about these two SUVs. And of course, we also invite you to spend some time with the various technology experts and partners that are part of the exhibition here for a chance to dig deeper into some of the innovations that we have seen today. Ladies and gentlemen, for the success of this company and for the success of electrification, I truly believe that this is what matters most. Electric cars that people get excited about. The passion and desire of our customers for their Polestars is what will guarantee the success of this company. And that is why we will keep on designing and delivering beautiful and powerful electric cars. Pure, progressive performance. That is what Polestar stands for. A brand with design as advanced as its technology. Thank you for coming, and I really hope that you will enjoy the rest of our Polestar Day together with us. Thanks for coming.